Hey guys, Ian here from RepairTech, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove malware with TechWaru. So first, we're going to go down here to load, and we're going to load up the RepairTech malware removal preset. Now this is a list of tools that we've built specifically for you so that you can load it really easily and just get to removing malware. I'm going to walk you through each of these tools, tell you why we put them in here and what they do, and then we're going to go through and configure them a little bit, and then we're going to run them. So the first thing we have is killexplorer.exe. That simply kills Explorer so that you can't go and play with the start menu. If you're leaving this computer at a customer's location, it's better if they can't interfere. It also prevents other applications from starting up and interfering. Then, just for safe measure, we're going to create a restore point. This just ensures that you can go back if something gets messed up. We're also going to back up the registry using eRun just in case something else happens. This way you have two different things that you can use uh, just in case something blows up. We're going to clear the proxy settings. Often malware likes to change your proxy settings so that you can't access the internet. In this case we're going to need to download some tools um, so it's helpful to be to make sure that they're not um, messing with the proxy. Then we're going to release and renew the IP just in case something did happen and we cleared some proxy settings so that we can access the internet. Next we're going to run fix shell or run. Often malware likes to mess with your shell so that you can't run executables, comms, bat, CMDs, or reg files. And we're going to fix that just so that we can ensure that if we're going to run something like Rogue Killer later on, it'll actually run. Then we're going to reset the hidden volume and run blue screen view. Blue screen view is just there for safe measure. If you've had any mini dumps recently, they may be indicative of malware or hardware issues. Either way, it's not going to hurt to run blue screen view. We can run hijack this so that we get a nice log that gives us some diagnostic info. Uh, likewise, we can run OTL, another commonly used malware removal tool, along with Hitman Pro, Junkware Removal Tool, TDSS Killer, and Rogue Killer. The combination of these should find anything that's on the computer. Um, if not, we have an additional one that's an extended preset that also includes MBR check and McAfee Stinger. Please note that those do take quite a while, especially McAfee Stinger. That can take hours, so that's why we haven't included it here. But if you do want to do a very comprehensive scan, you can do the extended test. Then, once we know that we've gotten rid of a bunch of malware, we can clean up the computer just so that we get rid of all those nasty cookies and the other um, less harmful things. Then we can delete IE BHOs and toolbars and clean up um, some of their browser settings. Then we'll create a restore point and restart explorer.exe. This way we got a restore point at the beginning and one at the end just in case we need to go back. So this is a pretty basic um, malware removal scan for us. What we're going to want to do before we run this is go into options and then go to malware automation here on the left. This allows us to configure the um, action that each of these tools will take when they actually find malware. It's important to configure these beforehand. Um, there is another video on this YouTube channel about each of these tools, so I'll, I will just leave it to that video. But suffice it to say, you should check this out before you run the tools. So now that we have loaded this preset, we're going to go ahead and click Run here. And it's going to run each of the tools. If they are not already downloaded onto the computer, it will download them for us and then run them. Uh, I'm not going to show you the full run here, but basically this is a fully automated run. It's important that you don't move the mouse for certain tools because we're using auto IT scripts for certain things like TSS killer. Uh, in addition to that, when you're done with this, you're going to get a full HTML report that you can use, print it out for your clients, give it to them, and you can also upload it to Tech Portal for safekeeping. I hope this video has been helpful. Let us know if you have any questions.